Bandicoot Digging Secrets How they shape their world, the Eastern Barred Bandicoot is a fascinating creature, and their lives are deeply intertwined with the soil they inhabit. They're essentially living rotivators of the forest floor, constantly digging and foraging for insects, worms, and fallen fruits. Their strong claws errant just for defense, they're perfectly adapted to this tireless excavation process. Think of it, these animals spend a significant portion of their time tunneling through leaf litter and topsoil creating an intricate network of pathways that aerate the ground and help distribute seeds. This constant digging actually improves soil health, promoting plant growth and benefiting countless other species within their ecosystem. The very structure of their bodies, from their robust legs to their powerful snouts, is a testament to this earth-moving lifestyle. Most animals dig when they're searching for a meal, but the eastern barred bandicoot takes digging to a whole new level. They spend up to 70 of their active time excavating, and it's not just about finding grubs or roots. These bandicoots are constantly reshaping their surroundings, creating intricate networks of tunnels and surface scrapes. This extensive digging isn't simply a byproduct of foraging, they actively engineer their habitat. They modify soil structure, aerate the ground, and even influence plant growth through this constant excavation process. It's remarkable how much one small animal can impact its environment through sheer persistence with a digging claw. These incredible animals are master diggers, and it's all thanks to their incredibly strong claws. They're not just for scratching, these powerful tools are perfectly shaped for excavation, allowing them to create truly impressive burrow systems. Think of it as an underground apartment complex. Each bandicoot will construct a network of tunnels and chambers for shelter from predators, protection from the elements, and, crucially, safe places to nest their young. These burrows can be quite extensive, sometimes with multiple entrances and escape routes, a testament to their engineering skills and how vital these structures are to their survival. This digging isn't just about finding tasty insects and fungi. It's a vital contribution to the health of the entire ecosystem. As bandicoots tirelessly excavate burrows and forage for food, they constantly turn over the soil. This action aerates the ground, allowing air to reach plant roots more effectively, importantly. This digging process also dramatically improves water infiltration, meaning rainwater can soak into the earth instead of running off. And because it mixes up the topsoil layers, nutrients are distributed much more evenly, providing plants with a richer source of nourishment and ultimately promoting healthier growth throughout their habitat. These intricate tunnel networks aren't just homes for bandicoots. They're vital hubs of activity for a surprising number of other creatures. Think of it as an underground city. Insects like beetles and ants thrive in the dark, moist environment, feeding on decaying leaf litter brought down by the bandicoots foraging. Small reptiles such as skinks and geckos often find refuge within these burrows, escaping predators or harsh weather conditions. Even spiders will spin their webs inside, capitalizing on the concentrated insect life. It's a miniature ecosystem flourishing just beneath our feet, demonstrating how one animal's actions can create opportunities for others to survive and thrive.
The Eastern Barred Bandicoot's diet is incredibly diverse, and it has a surprisingly big impact on its environment. They're omnivores, happily munching on roots, juicy berries, crunchy beetles, wriggling worms, and leaping grasshoppers. But this isn't just about them getting a meal their foraging habits actively shape the landscape. As they dig for those tasty roots and insects, they churn up the soil, improving aeration and drainage, essentially acting as natural tillers. And when they consume berries, seeds pass through undigested, effectively spreading plants across the forest floor. It's a beautiful example of how their daily activities contribute to both healthy soils and the dispersal of native plant life. The bandicoot's digging isn't just about finding food. It's a powerful force shaping its environment. As they root and forage for insects and fungi beneath the leaf litter, their actions unintentionally create what we call microhabitats. These are small patches of disturbed ground areas where soil is turned over and vegetation is exposed. This disturbance might seem negative, but it actually encourages plant diversity in places where it would otherwise be scarce. Seeds can settle into these newly created spaces, getting a better chance to germinate and grow while light reaches plants struggling under dense cover. Essentially, the bandicoot's foraging acts as a natural gardener, fostering a richer tapestry of plant life across the landscape. The presence and abundance of eastern barred bandicoots can actually serve as a vital indicator of environmental health. It's quite remarkable their density in a given area is directly linked to the overall biodiversity of that ecosystem. Think of them as little ecological barometers. A thriving bandicoot population suggests a rich, diverse habitat with plenty of insects, fallen fruits, and other food sources available. Conversely, fewer bandicoots often signal underlying environmental problems like habitat degradation or reduced prey availability. Their sensitivity to change means they reflect the health of the whole system, making them incredibly important for conservation efforts. Despite facing significant challenges from predators like red foxes and dingoes, eastern barred bandicoots play a surprisingly vital role in their ecosystems. Their digging habits as they forage for insects, grubs, and fallen fruit are incredibly important for soil health. They essentially turn over the topsoil, aerating it and allowing water to penetrate more effectively. This process is crucial for forest regeneration seeds, need that loosened earth to germinate and establish roots. Similarly, in grasslands, their activity helps maintain a healthy balance by preventing excessive thatch buildup and encouraging new growth. It's a remarkable example of how even a vulnerable species can have a disproportionately positive impact on the environment. Eastern barred bandicoots are truly remarkable animals. Their impact on the environment goes far beyond what we might initially assume. They are often called ecosystem engineers, and that title is incredibly well deserved. Consider how they constantly dig for insects, grubs, and roots. This isn't just about finding a meal. Their digging activity aerates the soil, improves water infiltration, and creates pathways for other plants to spread their seeds. They also turn over leaf litter, exposing fresh organic matter that benefits countless invertebrates and fungi. 
This constant modification of the forest floor fundamentally changes the structure of the habitat itself. It's an ongoing process of creation and renewal. Protecting these bandicoots isn't just about safeguarding a single species, but ensuring the health and resilience of entire ecosystems they help maintain. Conservation efforts are therefore vital not only to secure their future, but also to preserve the unique landscapes that depend on their presence.